Hello everybody. I feel very happy in introducing myself to you today. My name is Shubha, working as assistant professor in chemistry, RMB Engineering College. Well, I feel very excited to share a video lecture to all of you today. This is about the need of the art, conserve wildlife, stop poaching. I promise that this video session is going to be very informative, completely fun filled and activity based. Well, let me define what is biodiversity to you first. Biodiversity refers to the variety and variability among all groups of living organisms and ecosystems. It is simply the degree of variation of life forms within a given ecosystem. Be it the driest of all deserts or the dense tropical rainforest, the high snow clad mountain peaks or the deepest of all ocean trenches, life occurs in a variety of forms, size, color and shape, each with an ecological interrelationship. Well, let us move on to the first activity of the session. There are three activities and if you are going to be corrected any two of these activities, I would call you environmentally green and you fit into the requirements of a great global environmentalist. So this is the first activity. Number one, if you are a non-vegetarian, can you tell me which is your favorite non-vegetarian dish? Okay, moving on to the second question. Which do you think is the favorite non-vegetarian delicacy of the French and the Chinese cuisine? Well, I have given a picture here for your quick reference. Please take a glance into this picture and go with your guesses. Well, I think we had too many guesses, but it is the right time for us to move to the correct answer. And the correct answer is, well, the answer is they are the legs of frogs. These frogs are highly edible and they are found to be very rich in proteins, omega-3 fatty acids, vitamin A and potassium. The world's largest exporter of edible frogs is Indonesia. These frog legs are often removed without even killing them. This is the most pathetic point where the still living frogs are simply discarded. Let us go into the threats of biodiversity. There are many factors and we are going to look into a few of these. The increasing population growth, poverty, overhunting, habitat loss, pollution and climatic changes. Let me define the word poaching to all of you. Poaching refers to hunting without legal permission. The word poach is derived from the English middle word poaching which means bagged or enclosed in a bag. Well, poaching refers to killing of animals. This is called commercial hunting because it also leads directly to a major loss of biodiversity. Talking about the factors, some of these include the increasing human population and the increased need for commercial activities. There are two types of poaching. The first one is called subsistence poaching, which means killing animals literally for food. And the second one is called commercial poaching, where we kill animals for its products. Let us name the rich biodiversity centers in the world. The nations of Asia, Latin America and Africa, a few of these. Illegal trade and illicit trafficking of wildlife and wildlife products has become a major business today where most of the endangered animals are killed. The major importers include the countries like the Europe, the North America, Japan, Thailand and Hong Kong. We do have an international ban on trade in all these products, but still smuggling of wildlife items continues. Some of these products include the fur, hides, horns, tusk, live specimens and even herbal products. These are worth millions of dollars. Let us move on to the first most threatened animals in the list of poaching. Of course, it is the most massive animal, the elephant. An estimate says that more than 38,000 African elephants are killed every year. This accounts for about 100 African elephants per day and one elephant for every 15 minutes. I can tell you something friends, if this is going to continue, we may not have any more elephants and these animals will be extinct in the next 20 years. 
It is also to know that China is the world's largest consumer of ivory. These elephants are poached just for its ivory, which is carved into jewelry, utensils, and religious figurines. Removing a tusk out of an elephant's face is a very tedious job because such a huge chunk getting removed out of its face and skull causes very severe infection and an eventual and an extraordinarily painful death. It is also a custom to know that poachers often kill one elephant to start with. They wait for the other elephants for the morning session. When all the other elephants come and gather together, they start killing one elephant after the other. This is a common ritual followed by the poachers to kill elephants. Talking about the most endangered animal next, it is the mountain gorillas. It is very sad to know that only 600 mountain gorillas are left because of this act called poaching. They are often poached for bush meat. They are sometimes even caught and killed in traps which are intended for other animals. It is also to know that these animals are sought as pets or trophies and sold for their body parts which are used to cure certain diseases like heart disease, diabetes, etc. Gorilla tourism, of course, fetches a lot of funds to the government. Please look at this tabular column, friends. This tabular column will help you to understand the cost of wildlife products and its type. It is to know that elephant tusks per kg cost about $100, a leopard fur coat is about $1 lakh in Japan, a rare hyacinth macaw, which is a bird, is about $10,000, the fur of Bengal tiger cost about $1 lakh, the rhino horn per kilogram is about $65,000, the sea cucumber per kilogram is about $3,500, the big horn sheep antlers to about $20,000 and one baby gorilla is about $40,000. We have to accept this friends. For every live animal, we have more than 50 additional animals that are brutally killed. Now, let us move into the most targeted animals. The first one is called the male gorilla. The male gorilla is often poached for its body parts which are useful in the treatment of several diseases. This practice is common in countries like the Rwanda and the Zaire. The next one is called the Blue Morpho Butterfly. The very beautiful color of this butterfly is made useful in the preparation of attractive trays in countries like the Brazil. The third one is called the Snowy Large Egret. The white plumes of this bird is very useful in the preparation of ladies hats in US which is of great craze. The next one is the blubber from which lamp oils and lubricating oils are prepared. Combs and articles are prepared from whales called the baleen. Will you ever believe friends, elephant feet are merely crushed for the sake of preparing ash trays. Bush meat is believed to be of very high protein, especially in countries like the West and the Central Africa. I think all of us must be knowing about what is called dynamite fishing. Dynamite fishing refers to the practice of using explosives in the ocean ground to catch fishes in a large quantity. It doesn't catch fishes alone, it affects the ocean background to a great extent where the marine diversity is completely lost. We have the seahorses and the star turtles which are poached for want of money and luck. Look at this picture friends. The first one is that of a male gorilla. Don't you see the male gorilla asking you literally for help to safeguard its life? The second one is the most beautiful morpho butterfly. The third one is the large egret. The fourth one is a water seal. The fifth one is a sea cucumber. The sea cucumber is of great delicacy in China. Please look at this picture friends. The first one shows us that of a baleen, the blue whale. The second and the third one shows us the illegal marketing of ivory. The fourth one talks us about the Bengal tiger, the most massive animal and the last one, the star turtles which are poached to a great extent. Okay, let us move on to the second activity. Can you please guess the name of the soup? Wow, that looks really delicious, is it not? Can I have the guess please? Well, I think we had too many guesses but let's move on to the correct answer. I think a few of these guesses were quite correct. Well, the answer is the shark fin soup, a Chinese delicacy. It is a common practice of fishermen to catch sharks in a large variety, cut their fins 
and throw the sharks back directly into the ocean when they are still alive. This exploits the shark population to a great extent. Speaking next is about the poaching of tigers. The claws, teeth and whiskers are taken out from its body for mere luck and protective powers. The skins and bones of tigers are considered to be status symbols. You should know about the price of a tiger bone. It is estimated to be somewhere around 140 to 370 dollars per kilogram, depending upon the size of the bone. Will you ever believe friends, a pair of tiger eyes is considered to treat epilepsy and malaria and the cost of it goes to somewhere around 170 dollars. It is also to know that we have only somewhere around 3200 tigers left in the world. The picture you see here is that of the Thailand Tiger Temple where about 40 tiger cubs were found dead in a freezer. The authorities took immediate action over this. This is a very recent news where they tried to rescue the remaining adult tigers from the temple. This has caused a lot of suspicions around regarding the illegal trade and its involvement. Poachers often use poisoned arrows for killing animals. The death lasts from somewhere between 20 minutes to even a month's time. If the current poaching rates can continue, we may not have any more elephants, rhinos or other iconic African wildlife which is going to be lost within our lifetime. A Kenyan report says 90% of all ivory smugglers caught in the country are Chinese citizens. Let us move on to the last activity. Can you tell me which is the costliest of the following? Is it silver, gold or platinum? Well, I think you must be guessing it very correctly, but we will move on to the second question. Can you name me a product which is costlier than all of these? Okay. Well, it is the rhino horn that tops the list. It is to know friends that one rhino is killed for every eight hours and this happens in South Africa. A rhino horn can sell to nearly $30,000 a pound. Gold by comparison is very cheap. It is only about $22,000 a pound. A rhino's horn is not a true horn. It is simply a bony supporting core like the horns of cattle or antelopes. It is simply an outgrowth of the skin like the human hair or the fingernails. Rhinos are greatly poached just because they have these beautiful horns on them. Okay, we will move on to the next endangered animal and this is about the bears. It is to know that it is common practice in China where 10,000 bears are kept in farms and they are regularly drained off by. This takes place by implanting devices inside the animals when they are still alive. The bite is very useful for treatment of many diseases and they are used as traditional medicines. Let us move on next to the most trafficked animal in the world. This animal is called the pangolin which is the world's most trafficked mammal. The picture you see here is that of a pangolin. It is believed that more than 1 million pangolins have been traded in the last 10 years just because you can make these pangolins useful in the preparation of coats. About 80 tons of highly venomous sea snakes are being removed from the Gulf of Thailand every year. This is also a result of the dynamite fishing process. The picture you see below is a Thailand market where a woman is selling snakes and we have a consumer buying these. Talking next is about the endangered animals and we talk about sea turtles next. Sea turtles are caught for their meat, eggs, leather and shells in many communities. Okay friends, so far we have been talking about so many animals, animals that were endangered, animals that were threatened and animals that were poached to a great extent. I think it is our major responsibility to stop and control poaching. How do we do this? We will go on with the steps. Number one, avoid the usage of fur coat, purse or bag or items that are made up of crocodile skin or python skin. Please help to preserve the biodiversity. Ask before you buy. Stick only to certified products. Choose sustainable, eco-friendly pets. Eat only sustainable seafood. Please petition your local government to stop or restrict legal ivory trade. Speak up on those behalf of the front line. Support green livelihood. Please support the grassroots conservation initiatives. 
There are many organizations worldwide and in India which support and conserve wildlife. Some of these are the Wildlife Crime Control Bureau, Traffic India and WWF, Wildlife Trust of India, Wildlife SOS, the Nature Conservation Foundation, National Tiger Conservation Authority and National Save the Sea Turtle Foundation. Please pledge your support. Salute to all organizations that take an initiative to support and conserve wildlife. Report on any illegal wildlife trade. The social media is already on the forefront which will help us in a great extent. Please register your names into the Wild Leaks which is an initiative that is dedicated to environmental crime. The Wild Leaks will help you to receive and evaluate any anonymous information regarding environmental crime and transform them into concrete actions. I have given you a helpline number here for reference. Every time you find a threatened animal which is being mercilessly killed, please pick up your mobile phone and register your complaint to this number. This will automatically get claimed into the Wildlife Society of India and concrete actions will be taken to safeguard wildlife. I thank all of you for patiently watching this video. This has been a great initiative from your side. I get reminded of the words of Paul Oxton. A simple act of kindness and compassion towards a single animal may not mean anything to all creatures but will mean everything to one. We just have a single planet to live on. Let us conserve the wildlife that is with us because it is their planet too. Thank you once again.